Hey, it's me, PK King, and oh god, it's been a while. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. It's been a while since the last episode in this series. I guess it's a series now. Yeah, yeah, it's a series. Yeah, Smash is out now. Um, duh. Smash has been out for a while, but um, it's not done. You know, we're getting DLC. I already have the Fighters Pass. I bought the Fighters Pass before I bought the game. Like, we're getting this DLC. It's coming in. We already got the Piranha Plant, and we already know Joker's on the way, and we don't know who this female Joker is, but, like, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that we... St I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff we don't know. Now, with that being said, we know we're getting five DLC fighters again. Joker's one of them. So there's still four more. I mean, there's the obvious ones like, Oh, Microsoft has to have a rep. Yeah, cool. We get it. Who knows, right? But one thing I do know is who's not getting in this game. And honestly, that's more interesting to me. I feel like there are so many amazing characters that have so much potential that are obviously never going to be in Smash, and because of that, I want to give them a little chance in the limelight. Wow, I sound so pretentious. I have to be the one to show them to the world, all, all 200 of you, but you get my point. Which is why I made these videos for uh, Plague Knight and uh, Spectre Knight, you know, because I felt like those campaigns didn't get enough love, and another game that I feel like doesn't get enough love is Hollow Knight. Wow, who finally got there. What is it like five minutes in the video? <laughs> wow, okay, cool. Said the title of the game. <laughs> Step one. So yeah, this video is about Hollow Knight and Hollow Knight's potential moveset if you were to ever even know. Stop, Jeff. No, stop, PK, look. This is my imagination of what his moveset would be if he was in Smash. He, he, they, they it no not it that's rude you'll know who i'm talking about it shouldn't be confusing anyway just to reiterate before we really get started there's no chance he's getting in this game there's no chance if he comes out as dlc dude shoot me in the foot like there's no way it's happening maybe a spirit that'd be nice but like this not it's not happening and obviously spoilers for hollow knight okay i'm using clips from all over the game. There shouldn't be any crazy like end game spoilers and like I don't know much about the story so you don't need to worry about the story there. Like I played the game for 70 hours. I beat it with 104% and I can't really tell you too much about the story. It seems interesting from what I've from what I've know, but my my knowledge only goes so far. And definitely I'd recommend you play this game first like Wow, if you love Metroidvanias, which this is kind of my introduction to it, so I can't wait to play more. But it's such an amazing game. There's such a huge, unique area. Like, you could just explore, and then go back, and then find stuff, and then kill stuff, and then... Dude, oh my, I just, look how pretty it is. Look how pretty it is. Do you hear the music that's playing too? Yeah, you know what? No, you're not appreciating this enough. I'm gonna give you a second to appreciate this a little more, and I'll be back, okay? Just, just relax. Okay, you good? You good? You understand now. You get it. Cool. Alright, love that. This game is literally only $15, and if I were you, I'd get it now because Silk Song was just announced, and it seems to be the sequel or prequel. It's the next game. It's Steam Cherry's next game, and it's in, it's using the same engine, it seems like. So I would hop on this before that comes out, even though it's probably not going to come out for another like, two years. But that's okay. Make it amazing. It was supposed to be DLC, but they're just like, <laughs> fuck it, let's just make it a whole new game. Okay, anyway, let's get into what you actually care about. How would this night fit into sm- Wait. Wait. This is the third night I'm doing. I, do I have a thing for nights? I mean, I guess I am PK King. King has- have, I'm just gonna get on to the move set because that's what you're here for. All right, how would this Nail Knight fit into Smash? Well, I think it's actually pretty, like, straightforward. If you played the game, there's not- the moves aren't really that complicated. They're versatile, but, like, y if you played the game, 
or even just by watching this footage, you probably have a pretty good idea of what his moveset could be. But because of that, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to put a big twist on it. You know, some weird mechanic like some characters have, you know, Inkling has to charge or like refill ink, Cloud has a limit. I want to do something like that. I feel like I might have gone a little too far, but if I did let me know, if not, then this is happening. So yeah. All right, so the first big thing I have to explain is, is the charging mechanic, which is arguably like the biggest part of Hollow Knight itself, all right? In Hollow Knight, you get soul by fighting. It, the soul can be spent by using moves or like like powerful moves or to heal up, right? So kind of inspired by Inkling, kind of. This ripped from Inkling, dude, taking the skin off. Hold B while shielding to charge up. Wow, didn't I saw that coming, right? Okay, but charging up literally heals him. It, that, Christ, dude, heals them. So, obviously this seems a little broken. It only heal like five at a time, and you can only do four at a time. Does that make, let me, no, Jeff, dude, hold on, let me, let me elaborate. You can only have so much soul, right? So the soul meter is, the full soul meter is equivalent to four charges. So basically, if you can pull it off, if your opponent is on the west side of Africa, you can essentially heal 20% by using all your soul. But remember, this uses all your soul, and you'll use your soul to do some of your moves that I'll explain in soon enough. So you may not want to do that. Also, thought I'd throw this out there, they'd be able to wall climb, because you wall climb a lot in the game with the Mantis Claw. Just just so you know, maybe not wall cling. Actually, no, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. They also have a passive ability, um, acid resist. It nullifies stuff like, like, um, what's acid? I don't know, Wario's Waft? Prana Plant's poison thing? I don't know. If there's, if there's acid in the game, it doesn't matter to them, okay? Cool, got it. Anyway, his primary weapon is a nail that he carries in his hand, you know? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Why is it in his hand? Why isn't it on his back? Why would it be on his back? He's fighting. But Shulk has it on his back and he fights with it. Re oh shoot, I didn't realize that. Well, you know, I've reanimated everything, so I'm not gonna reanimate it, okay? This is fine, it's fine. The first and only attack you have for a while is his standard, yeah, versatile swing. It's just a quick, like, one-hit thing. It's kind of slow. Um, imagine, like, the first hit of Link's jab, but functioning like Roy's jab, you know? It's a quick kind of get off of me, and not really like a rapid jab or anything like that. Now, if you played Hollow Knight, you're probably wondering, okay, dude, you like to put every single aspect of the game into the character. Okay, then, what about the charms, huh? But you didn't find a way to put that in. Okay, okay, look, look, the charms, right? I'll get to that later, but I did find a kind of simplistic way to incorporate them, right? But I bet Sakurai would find a way better way. I'll go more into depth into that later, but I, I didn't forget about those, okay? Just hold on, right? So this basic swing is gonna be used throughout a lot of their moveset because, like, that's just kind of... That's what they do, you know? So like the up tilt would be the same thing, um, just kind of swinging it, kind of like Mario's yeah, yeah, combo yeah, a little bit yeah. more. Um, yeah. This will chain into itself and kind of being the bring the opponent up like in the air right above, right above them for some aerial setups and things like that and stuff of the like. It's also a pretty wide arc, so it'll easily catch people, very good anti-air, probably pick you up from the floor, and pretty good. His side tilt, however, is Dream Shield, right? It pops up, pokes their side. And I don't know if this was just me, but I love the Dream Shield. I use this for most of the game, and I'm probably using it in gameplay that you saw. Like, I I live by the Dream Shield, right? So, for me, this is a no-brainer. Just kind of pops out real quick. Could reflect projectiles, that'd be cool. But for the most part, it's a quick little hit. Pop in and out, whatever. Okay, now down tilt I like. Down tilt is heavy blow. It looks the exact same as the jab, but it's a little slower, which means it's pretty slow because jab is already kind of slow, right? Now, the only difference between Dom heavy blow and the regular jab is that heavy blow doesn't do that much damage, but it applies a lot of knockback. And because it looks the same as jab, you can really catch someone off guard because jab is already kind of get off me thing. But then you do this, they think they're going to go a little bit and then they go a lot and it's like, dude, what the heck? You know what I mean? So 
And it's also going to be pretty good off stage to get people away. But besides that, there won't be any visual difference. Wow, so there's going to be no difference whatsoever? I mean, uh, look, he, he won't blink. How about that? That's, That's how you it. know. He won't blink? That's a wow, so original. <laughs> And for the dash attack, it's obviously dash slash and duh. He just kind of froom does that thing, like you're saying. It's probably kind of slow. I don't, what do you want from me? Okay, all right. So before we go into smash attacks, hear me out on something, okay? Would it be too out of line for the shade cloak to be his air dodge or his grounded dodges, right? If you don't know the shade, the shade cloak is what makes him turn all black and dash forward and he also goes invisible. But not, no. No, he doesn't go invisible. Invincible. Sorry, English is a hard language. Look, so he does that. Um, and I feel like that's the only place I could really kind of incorporate it, even if it doesn't function the same, because that would kind of be broken. It'd look the same, at least aesthetically. Okay, okay, smashes, right? These are the moves that use soul. Okay, well, all of them except for the side smash. Um, this one's the Defender's Crust, right? So, again, getting into charms. Hear me out, right? Now, if you're going by the exact definitions of, like, the charms, maybe I should explain charms. Yeah, I should do that real quick. Charms are basically these little, little charms that you can put on, um, the knight, and it gives him different abilities, you know, um, th th that's kind of the gist of it. You can only have so many at a, at, at a time, so obviously I couldn't put literally every single one in the set. But, I mean, it, it weighs in from, like, a whole new move to a move being bigger. You know what I mean? It's, they're not all equal in, like, in, like, viability. So, hear me out, right? Side Smash is Defender's Crust. That's one of the, that's one of the charms. So, in Hollow Knight, the Defender's Crust has a big explosion of gas once you charge up. You know, like, the B move, like I said? Once you do that, a... A gas thing will pop everywhere and that's how it normally works but instead of that I kind of made it into a side smash instead it's like he's charging up like he's trying to the side smash and then he shoots it out in front of him um it doesn't come from uh charging it just I that would you know how broken that would be like no it, it can't this is just his side smash it doesn't give him soul it doesn't lose soul it's just his side smash so he's out in the air now that i think about it it's probably kind of like piranha plant side b but not that broken like hello did you see my piranha plant classic mode video you should check that out <laughs> subtle plug but yeah that side b is amazing um but it's not that good at all it doesn't stay out for nearly that long um but it, it's the same kind of idea. All right, okay, back to soul, what you're interested in, right? Every single move uses the same amount of soul, all right? So with the full tank, you can use it up to six times without charging. Okay, up smash is a bis strike, my personal, like one of my favorite moves, right? You blast uh, the foe with- They can't see what the do you character. Mean? What? Oh, shoot, oh shoot, sorry, hold on. Okay, is that better? It's a little better. Okay, okay, cool. Um, blast foes with screaming soul and smell that I'm just reading the game's description. But you get the idea. Honestly, no bias works exactly like Lucas's up smash, but wider. That, I mean, <laughs> okay, maybe a little biased, but like, come on. <laughs> okay, but reminder, it costs soul. So if you're trying to use this and you don't have any soul, nothing's gonna happen. You're just gonna look dumb. Stupid. That goes the same for the down smash, descending dark. Uh, they do a little hop before crashing down and not only exploding the floor around them, but shooting a little tower upwards, right? It covers a lot of ground and um, it, it's kind of like Wolf's up smash, but kind of backwards, if that makes sense. You know, it covers the sides and it covers up too. Right, so now let's get on to aerials. Before aerials, we have the little double jump. It's just the flap of the wings. You get that, I don't think you get that earlier on, but it's his double jump that they, you know what? They, him, she, we love a gender fluid queen, king, okay? But he uses his little wings, flies up, little flap, and those will come back into play later, but for now that is his double jump, just thought I'd mention that. To get this out of the way, his aerials are kind of just different angles of the slash. Um, the only unique one is down air because you can use it to bounce off people or hazards like spikes. It's kind of like Lynx down air, but it's better. You know, it's faster, it's, you have more mobility, but it's the same idea where you could bounce and bounce and bounce off people. 
This forward air is slightly angled, you can slightly angle it, and it has some pretty good range. It's more of like a jabby poke thing than a swing, so that's cool. A little bit more, I wanted to make it a little more diverse just because I didn't want it to all literally be swinging, even though that's literally what he does in the game perfectly. The biggest unique one though is Cyclone Slash, right? He spins, he spins, basically doing Link's up B. Wow, I'm taking a lot. I'm taking a lot from Link. Well, anyway, um, it, it's more like two Link's because it's a multi-hit. But, yeah, that's that's kind of it. He just swung, 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 and yeah. Okay, and his back air, which is not from Link, but Corn. <laughs> he uses his double jump wings, the monarch wings. I didn't say that earlier, but they're called the monarch wings. Um, he uses them to double jump, so why not attack? <laughs> May as well, right? It worked the same as Corn's back air, but just a bit faster. He claps his wings behind him, pushes him a little bit, a little bit faster than Corn's. Okay, cool. Onto specials, what you care about? Okay, okay. Now we get into charms, right? I set up two full charm combinations. One of them for normal battling and the other one for grabs. Uh, but doesn't he need to sit in a bench to change his charms? Exactly! That leads to his grabs! Okay, I know this sounds stupid, but his laggy as hell grab would pop up a bench for him to sit on, and whoever's next to him will also sit on that bench. They will be locked onto it by the sticky webs that, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, they can't move, okay? I know this is a weird grab. It's gonna be Pac-Man territory, really slow, and I'll get more into it later, but I I like this idea, because while he's on the bench, he can switch them charms. Okay, okay, specials. Sorry, while wow, I'm delaying everything. His neutral BA shade soul, yeah, okay, duh, you saw that coming, whatever. This is like the one special that uses soul, and it's your basic projectile, kind of like Samus Charge shot, 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 whoa, <laughs> shot, shot, no, but... It's basically Samus's charge shot, but you don't mm, charge it. <laughs> wow, it's Samus's shot. <laughs> and also, it can go through multiple people, so it'd be better in like like big groups and stuff like that. Side B, Crystal Heart. Again, kind of obvious, right? Think Luigi side B or Pikachu side B, but it doesn't stop until you tell it to, or until you like hit something, like a wall, not a person. You go through the people, but I mean a wall. And there's not that many walls, so you can just fly and die. <laughs> Love that. It launches the night forward for a sec with no cost to soul, so don't worry. If you don't charge it all the way, it cancels, and you can't do it in the air to recover, but you can do it on walls, so I don't know when that would really be useful, but I guess that's a nice thing, right? People that you run into while doing it will do a little bit of damage, um, and it'd be really cool if you can get out of it really fast to do combos. Like if you could be side B in the air, right as you pass someone up air to cancel the side B and start a combo like that, I think that'd be pretty cool. Down B, Dream Nail. Okay, this one, this is where we start getting a little, we start leaving the, the standard norm. But Dream Nail, maybe you saw this coming. This move... Weirdly enough, doesn't damage your opponent, but it stuns them for a little bit. Kind of like, kind of like Mewtwo's down B. I'd imagine, and this would be really cool, but it'd be a little bit of work, that the knight would be able to read the other fighter's thoughts for a second, like you can do in the game. I don't know if it's their thoughts, or if it's like their true intent, or it's like what they're think. I don't know exactly what it is, but I always perceived it as what they're thinking. So you could like hit somebody, you hit Mario. You'd be like, Mamma Mia! <laughs> That's the best I could come up with. It'd be kind of like a little Easter egg, like pit. It pits like Palutena's guidance and um, Snake's thingamajigger. Um, but yeah, it it it'd be kind of like that. You can read their thoughts for a second. Maybe that'd get annoying. I don't know. That's an idea. I wanted to put the dream mail in. You're not going to be doing it to read their thoughts in the middle of a tournament match, but it freezes them. So, there's your viability. You happy? Okay, the last thing is his uppy, which is Grim Child. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. We got DLC up in here, boy. Okay, but um, I don't really have any footage of this because after I couldn't defeat Dream Grim, I don't know if I have too much footage of this or at least the final form because I, c I defeated Grim the first time. But I couldn't the second time, and then, unbeknownst to me, I accidentally banished him, and you can't get him back. I feel stupid, but he's gone now, so I might not have footage of that, but you get the idea. It's this little grim child that, this little vampire dude, um, he kind of picks you up, 
and like as you go up he shoots little fireballs he's very slow leaves you very open he does shoot little fireballs but it's like it's like palatina's like auto radical you know they're not really a threat they're not aimed they're not auto radical they're just going to the side it's kind of like just like a random luck thing if you manage to actually hit someone with it it's gonna miss a lot it's kind of like olimar's up b in the vein that you can cancel it too so you can just up b and then cancel it like right away on stage to shoot a little quick projectile i don't know if that would be viable but like i guess you could do that i also had this idea that maybe the grim child grows as the match goes right it starts off as a baby but by the end of the match it's a grown up and it could take you way higher i don't know they'd be kind of like lucario's aura so i don't think it'd be that like out of the loop but i, 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 thought, that, I thought that'd be cool his recovery gets better the longer the match Okay, here you go, grabs. Like I said before, he uses the bench to kind of sit down on it and picking up the other person and all that good stuff, right? While he's on the bench with the other enemy, the bad person, maybe, you know, with the opponent, the opponent, it's, it's not that complicated. While he's sitting on the bench with the opponent, he uses Thorns of Agony as his pumble. In, in the actual game, Thorns of Agony works where if you get hit, the knight just kind of explodes in thorns and it hits the enemy back but in this he just kind of does it i mean okay maybe we can imagine like the 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 opponent struggles which bumps into the knight and then he just shoots it out but that that's his pumble down throw which is generally the combo throw is weaver song a ton of spiders come out of nowhere from behind the chair and everything they grab him they bounce off the ground and then they set him up in the air for combos Forward throw is kind of the get off the stage throw. Fluke nest, yeah, I know it's gross. But these little flukes, I don't even know what they are. They look like tadpoles, whatever they are. They, the wave of them just boom and takes them away. You know, wave check, wave check, they're gone. That, that's it, that's, that's it. And also, they stay on the stage and bounce around. So even if like there's another opponent, it might hit them too and just bounce off the stage and then bounce forever, I don't know. Back throw, which is generally the kill throw, is shit now. Okay, look. Look, 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 look. I don't know which Hollow Knight this is. It, there are several different endings. That, I mean, maybe this is him. This obviously him at the beginning of the game because he has all these abilities. But, like, I don't want to spoil too much. Basically, throws him back. Very strong. Kill move. Love that. Last throw is up throw. You know the too far away for back throw to kill, so maybe this will. Now, this one's glowing woo, right? These little cute flies. No, they're not cute. No, they're actually not cute at all. They fly up and explode, right? They grab the opponent, fly up in the air, and explode. And I also think that this moves pretty slow. So if you're fast enough, you can cancel the the. You can get out of your bench and react after that. So you can kind of up throw them and lead up to up smash or up air or something like that right after and it's like a hundred percent confirmed and that'd be that'd be pretty good up throw could be the combo throw that that'd be nice okay okay um yeah i think that's all the moves except oh the final smash yeah let's talk about that so um big spoilers big spoilers like this is I mean, no, no, this is literally the end of the game. I'm about to show the final boss. Like, <laughs> bye. Leave. <laughs> You've got the gist of it, okay? You don't need any more. Skip to this timestamp. Wow, Jepson, you're gonna make yourself edit more. It's already been so long, and this video is gonna take even longer to come out. Okay, whatever. Go to this timestamp if you want to avoid spoilers, right? But, admittedly, I didn't even get to this part. This is not my footage. But, like, it's just the perfect thing. Like, hello, I was not about to beat this boss. I couldn't. I couldn't. I tried. I, tried. I couldn't. So, but this, but it, my point still holds still. Okay, their final smash is Embrace Void, which is one of the endings to the game. When, you know, when you're you're fighting the re, the re, the, resi, the resident, the re, radiance. Why did I write the resident? Yeah, you're fighting the radiance and then, uh, you, yeah, that happened. 
a lot of the final smashes in ultimate are a lot more cinematic so i try to do it like that too but I also try to make it as similar to what happens in the fight as possible so what i concocted is a bunch of shades from the bottom of the stage rise up and they grab whoever is on the stage if you're flying above the stage like really right there you're good you're not gonna get hit by at least the first part right you're good but if you get hit a by one of those little the little soul dudes then you're stuck in the final smash once you're grabbed the knight will fly to the side of the stage take off the shell go berserk and you just spam A to hit over and over and over and over and over and over again. You just spam that A button. If you don't hit it, they don't get hit and they fine. So make sure you hit that A button. Even if they don't get grabbed, you can still hit them with the slashes. So they got to be good with the maneuvering, right? After all that goes, maybe there's one more giant hit where they just get released. Whatever happens, boom, they fly off their dead, lovely, beautiful god. Okay, that's all for moves. But there's still a lot more things for the night I want to point out. So is any of the things that point out the shield animation? Because you don't have that animated yet. Um, I don't really... Uh, it, could, it could be the Defender's Crest. Fine. Do you have another slot for that to be equipped or no? Uh, I guess, I guess not. Okay, so then you can't have the Defender's Crest as your shield animation. Okay, then fine. I'll have no special animation. It'll just be a normal shield. There, are you happy? <sighs> Okay, moves are done, but now let's get into the cute stuff, right? This is probably my favorite part. The taunts and all the other cute stuff. For the first taunt, he'll take out his little map, because in Hollow Knight, you look at the map a lot, right? This, <laughs> the, You'll be seeing this a lot. I was also thinking you can walk around with this. That'd be cute. I don't know. Next is Alumni, okay, and the reason why this is so important is to me is because in the beginning of the game, in order to go to the second area, I thought you needed this, so I grind up for hours to buy this expensive item that I didn't even need at the time and just wasted my whole so long because I didn't know where to go. Anyway, cute light holds it up. It's maybe he could also walk around doing this. I don't know. Maybe that's his thing. He could walk while doing all these taunts. Because the next taunt, he writes in his hunter journal. I mean, maybe, actually, maybe he should, he should sit down for this one. I don't know. But he gets his little journal out that you get from an NPC. And basically gives you all the information about all the enemies you kill. Right? So he could just be taking this out and writing some notes. He sees Maro. He's writing notes about Maro. Talk about some, mm, this dude sucks in this game <laughs> he's taking notes on everybody maybe you can actually see these notes you know he's writing about peach like this character relies too much on those turnips get those out of the way and you're good like no that's not true peach and daisy are crazy right now they don't need no turnip i was about to say fruit that ain't no fruit they didn't need no fruit entrance animation would be the dream gate yeah i'm more dlc i don't know what else to say about it dream gate is basically you set waypoints anywhere so he just put a waypoint on the stage. I don't know when he had the time to go to the stage before the battle and put a waypoint that he did. So he goes through it and that's how he appears. All right, endings. Okay, love these. So the first one, right? Knight sitting on a bench, all asleep, doing his thing. And then this freaking, mm. okay, this thing pops up, right? I'm not, I don't even remember its name and I'm, I don't like it. No, you're annoying, right? The, the, I'm not gonna spoil why this happens play the game but if you know you know and you probably hate it uh this is probably my biggest regret in this game <laughs> it would be funny if he wakes up like whoa and then like i like like by the noise or whatever of her like screaming oh you know what i mean and then he wakes up all surprised and then it's like fume you know like right yeah cool all right so the next one is easy you know hornet yeah i went this whole video without even mentioning hornet i mean i guess i mentioned silk song but that doesn't count. Hornet will fly in with her with her needle thing and go get good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the thing. It's the funny thing. It's the meme. <laughs> it's the funny. Flies in, get good, and they post together or something like that. Cute. I don't know. I think it'd just be really cool to beat someone with all the night, and then a hornet flies in and is like get good. Like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's that's the most disrespectful thing. This one, maybe for this last one, it could be the Hollow Knight, which is the name of the ending. This is the one that I personally got, where he gets chained up with the glowing eyes, and it looks really cool, and he's just all tied up, and then yay, happiness. 
Uh, I don't know what his victory theme could be. I'm trying to think, um, and I'm not about to look it up because it's 12 at night and I have work in the morning. Okay, costumes. This is kind of interesting. Um, the knight doesn't really have too many costumes in the actual game that they change at all like no but i mean there could be some small stuff referencing other characters like a red one for hornet um something like that maybe a bandana for the nail masters that'd be cool um but for the most part i think his little cape thing will just change colors i don't think they change the black or the white from his mask or anything like that it'd be cool if they can have different like shapes the like different mask shapes like some of the bosses um but i mean i doubt it I don't know, that's just an idea. I mean, he could have one with glowing orange eyes. Also, I guess for Kirby, Kirby would just have the mask on Kirby, <laughs> like the whole head. So it'd be walking mask, or maybe just the horns. No, probably the whole mask. Probably the whole mask, I guess. And then he, Kirby would get um, the little shadow ball thing. So that'd be cool. Just to remind you, right, I know this will never happen. You don't need to tell me in the comments, this will never happen. So will not do this trophy. Okay, I know. Uh, that's awesome. So I being a Sith trophy is amazing. And Spectre Knight and Pink Knight and King Knight have the, um, stick, not stickers. They're basically stickers, but spirits. I, I, dude, when I saw that playing in the, in the spirits mode, I screamed, dude. That made me so happy. I had no idea, right? right. So like, this will never happen at all. But, I don't know, that's why it's fun. That's why it's fun to think about it. Cause you really can't be wrong. And even if Hall and I did get into Smash, there's still no really, there's still not a right or wrong way to do it. So this, this kind of stuff is just really fun. All right, so I think that's all. Um, Smash Ultimate's here, I've been loving it. Uh, let me know if you wanna see any like more, if you guys have any ideas for that, I've been doing the classic mode thing that I need to do more of, I know, and I'm sorry, I just got my new computer and it's all set up and it's done, and I'm finishing this video and I'm never going to touch my laptop again, right? But I'll be sure to pump out a bunch of more classic mode, um, classic mode videos. I think I already know which next one I'm going to do. Um, what else? Uh, how else can I, what, I feel like I have a lot more to tell you guys. But yeah, I have a lot, of, I have, there's a couple more indie games that I have plans to do in this series, so this series isn't going anywhere. Of course you guys know King Knight, whenever that comes out in like late April, I'll try to do a video on that. I know footage is already out, but I want to play through the campaign myself before I make a video on it, that's just like my rule. I'm not going to make a video on a character if I haven't played their game, so they'll have, they'll come out. I will pro the video probably won't be up till like a month after he comes out, but you understand. And there'll probably be one on Hornet in like a year or two when Silk Song drops. But there'll definitely be more in between. I've already have some in the works that I'm not gonna spoil you yet. But if you like to see sneak peeks, follow me on my Instagram. I post little sneak peeks on there like all the time on the story. So check that out. And maybe if you guys are interested, I could start live streaming me playing these games. You can kind of see my thought process as I like write down ideas. And I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out. So if that interests you, let me know. And I could start live streaming. Maybe the first one could be the King of Cards campaign. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, um, I'm gonna leave now. This is this is a long video. Um, but please share. Please tell everyone you know. <laughs> Not everyone, but like the, if you know anyone that likes Hollow Knight, anyone that likes Smash. Please get their point of view on this. I want to know what the competitive people think. I want to know what the casuals think. And I want to know the people that don't know what Smash is, but they love Hollow Knight think. Right? Because this game is so... Dude, this game is so amazing, dude. Team Cherry really can't killed it. Dude, Australians, they can't, they can't do any wrong. They're just amazing in every way. Like, every way. Have you seen Chris Hemsworth? Anyway, um... I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, that's it. I love you guys. Thanks for 200, I think we're like 222, 222, wow, oh my gosh, the world's ending. Um, thank you guys, I am leaving now, you should leave too, um, treat yourself, and I'm gonna go, you're gonna go, <laughs> alright, um, so I'll hopefully see you guys next time, sometime maybe in the future, possibly, uh, eventually, tomorrow, next week, next month, I don't know, <laughs> bye. <laughs>
Also, big thank you for Keith for voicing some lines in this video. Love you.